What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to, well you already knew right, we got my heroes on the docket. And uh, uh, here's the deal, right? The number one thing on everyone's mind right now, the number one thing I keep hearing is Astrolab, 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 Moon Ring, Moon Ring, Moon Ring. I gotta talk about it man, it's finally time we discuss the most overpowered combination for the majority of classes and I'll talk a little bit about like, you know, maybe you have this specific thing going on for yourself, maybe you have that specific thing going on for yourself, whatever you got going on with your class. There are, there's a combination that's just generally considered overpowered is like the best way to like, you know, lightly put it. We're going to go a little bit more in depth than that and just uh, ways you can flesh it out, make it stronger than ever. And then we'll show it off in something like arena or something crazy like that. You know, we're sitting at like, it looks like we're averaging out right now early on without really charging on Matarasu the way we should at like around 160 million. So we're probably looking at once Amaterasu is all the way up, if you know how it works, you know. Uh, we're probably looking at around like 200,000 uh, DPS by the time we get to the end of a actual dungeon run, which is a lot, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of it has to do with this Astrolab right here. Check me out, man. Moon Ring, you gotta love it. You gotta hate it. You gotta do whatever you gotta do with it. Do Call it whatever you want. Just don't call it late for dinner, you know what I'm saying? This thing is in everyone's mind right now, although here's the deal. I am in a love-hate relationship with it right now, man, because I am a fire ninja, which means I'm not used to dodging. I'll tell you why that matters, but this right here is the setup that I believe is the highest as far as skill damage in general for every single class. If you are basing yourself off skill damage, you are going to be destroying worlds with this setup right here. Hear me out real quick, man. Now, in my centerpiece, I'm rocking Sunrise. There are different things you can get away with a centerpiece on this Astro Lab. I like Sunrise for the damage bonus. You can get away with Moon. You can get away with, uh, for the elemental bonus, you can get away with, uh, Wind. If you need attack speed, which I definitely could with this character in general, 10 attack speed ain't nothing to sleep on. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else you really want. Uh, Sun, Moon, or Wind, I think are just universally the best. You might be able to get away with something crazy like uh, like your favorite element, but honestly, I just keep it like that. One, or two, or three, man. Now, number uh, two, as far as the ring order goes, I put Chasing Sun down for that 5% damage taken, 15% damage bonus. Now, you could, in theory, put this on the three. Here's my reasoning as to why this will give you more DPS output by putting Chasing Moon in the third slot. You get 45% elemental damage over the 15% uh, mm, damage of bonus. 30% 30, 30 I believe damage bonus if a sun was down here in the third ring. I put it here, I get half of the damage bonus out of it, but instead of getting 15% elemental damage, I'm getting 45, which is three times the amount of elemental damage. This is one that depending on your class, I would highly suggest hitting the dummy a couple of times, swapping these back and forth. Do you want a, a third ring of sun and a two ring of moon? Do you want a um, two ring of sun and a third ring of moon? This is going to play by class by class by class, how high your multipliers are, anything crazy like that. That's kind of my thinking there. Um, I could easily get away with sun in the third in the third, and moon in the second. What I'm really going to be doing is kind of experimenting around, but sun and moon is the way to go. Uh, play by ear and play by the dummy to see where you really want them. I found uh, putting moon in the third ring is just best. You're going to be losing 10% of your mana every time you get hit with this though, so watch out for that, man. But chasing sun, you're going to be taking 5% more damage, which is nothing, right? Nothing. Who cares about 5% more damage? It's basically not even a, like a negative. It doesn't matter. But losing 10% of your mana with that ring is tragedy. Now, I just swapped it out, right? I'm sitting at 17. I'm not even going to get into Apex Masters, man. I'm not going to get into it unless this change was enough to make it happen. So we're going to see what kind of a run we can get real quick. See if this uh, little bit... What did I have before? I had fire, and I had sun on uh, three, and I had fire on two. And everything else was pretty much the same. We're going to see if this change is enough to really make it pop off, really get me the extra, the extra DPS I need to fly through this and get myself back into... Myself into, uh, you know, Masters where I belong. Now, we did take the, we get extra uh, multiplier based on uh, how much time we had left over, and we also just got the slowdown clock, which does mean we get a little extra multiplier just out of that. In general, we're going to swap weapons in between waves, as we are known to do. Make sure we get our calmer weapon all the way up. We're going to pop this timer all the way down, and we're going to pop this as well. Bro, we got double timers. Is it just meant to be? Is this the run? I think this is just uh, the run. Let's be careful not to hit any of these buttons. I almost did. I think a lot of people almost had a heart attack, right? So, 
a lot of people have been asking me. We may as well talk about it while we're in here. Um, to do, like, more gameplay. I'm at a point right now where I'm like, what gameplay is interesting? Do we hit a boss? Like, do we fight a boss? Like, what boss? Like, do we do, like, a key dungeon? Like... Like, do we do, like, g riffs where it's bosses? Do we do card dungeons where it's boss? Do, do What bosses do you want to see over and over, man? I feel like this game is, like, more fun to play than it is to watch as far as the gameplay goes. And I feel like the stuff like this is a little more on the exciting side, where it's, like, trying to hit, like, a like a scoreboard. I wish there was more, like... It, I, there needs to be... This game, if it just randomly came out with a roguelike mode, it would be so ridiculously replayable, like, with the format that it already has going for itself. This game could really get away with a real roguelike mode. No cap, no, all fact, right? Like, can you, can you picture it? I'd be in heaven, real talk. This dude is not taking any damage, though, at all. Like, what's going on here? I'm not even doing a billion damage to him. Why? Bro, he took no damage. I didn't do one bill. That's, like, the worst I could have possibly imagined, and we still got a ridiculous score. What happened? What happened there? I did, like, no damage to him. I'm at the point, we're at nine. I take everything. I felt like I didn't do anything to him. I feel like not hitting, maybe it's just because I'm not used to, like, the Apex Emerald boss. We're at number 9 right now, and, you know, we're gonna be getting into Apex Masters. I can do that cleaner. Honestly, I can easily get that 1 billion. I feel like I just need to tighten up the boss fight a little bit. But that's that, man. That is, you know, we're going into Apex Masters with that. Uh, we'll flash the build afterwards, but I'm gonna, yeah, what do you say? You know what, you guys have been asking for gameplay. What do you say we hit up a little bit of Andrus, man? Uh, we're going to be doing a roast tomorrow, probably, unless there's like something to actually talk about. But I had to bring this ring to you guys' attention, right? Now, I will say, if if you find that you can get away with, uh, with uh, what, the ring, right? If you find that you can get away with um, uh, damage on the, you know, the sun on the third ring, right? If you find that that's best for you... I would suggest looking for an elemental bonus elsewhere, other than like being like having to lose 10% mana for the bonus. 15% elemental damage is not worth losing 10% of your mana every time you get hit. In my mind, I don't think it's a worthwhile trade unless it's the third ring. Um, I would rather like actually I do like look at that. I'm just out right now. I'm out of mana, and I have to wait a second because I had the audacity to not dodge because like I keep forgetting that just because I'm not in danger doesn't mean I can't just get away with just not dodging now. You know what I mean? It's unfortunate, but it is what... I, did I even catch him with that? I don't know, man. Um, like, I could get away with fire and get more damage than having it in my second slot. Like, a lot more damage than having it in my second slot. So, uh, keep in mind, you might want to get your bonuses from other sources if necessary. You know, play that by ear. Play that by, like, like how much you get out of the damage bonus, which is going to be upping your, uh, your weapon damage, which is going to be upping your multipliers, basically. So, you know, you just got to play that by ear. But it is what it is, man. You know, that was an easy fight. It's all going to be easy. Do you want to be able to clear these people this fast? Go ahead and switch your mess around, my guy. Switch it around. Switch it around. Get yourself the bonuses. Uh, they're the highest DPS in the game currently, although we are all aware. There's there's no way they're not putting more uh, star bonuses in the game. Uh, some of them don't actually do anything right now. Um, and uh, some of them, like, there's constellations that are definitely going to be coming, right? There's full kits that are definitely not constellations yet that are going to be uh with this next update where they put the actual the next uh dungeon in next to the astral dungeon i'm a, i'm highly expecting now most of us are trying to avoid spoilers you know but i'm anticipating uh new uh constellations and stuff like that i'm expecting it i don't i don't think there's any other way around it i can't imagine a world where they don't but you never know man sometimes people do the craziest things but this dev team seems to actually like know what's happening so I would be surprised. I have no mana. This is the problem with the moon, man. I can't play lazily like I always... I'm the laziest player you've ever seen when it comes to dodging. Because I have Amaterasu, there's no reason to dodge ever. You don't die. And now I can't play lazily anymore. Like, I hit harder, but I have to play smarter. And I don't like the... I don't like the, the, the swap, man. I'm going back to fire. That's it. I'm going back to... I'm going to do a four piece of fire. At me. I don't even remember what it does. I wonder. We're gonna find out right after this what fire does at four, at three, and see if maybe it's it. There's no way it goes higher than 45. But does it let me keep my mana? That's the question. Does it let me keep my mana? Because if it does, I might swap it back. Uh, out of laziness, not because it's better, right? And everyone everyone has their own standard of happiness in this life. Gary V said so, bro. Gary V said so, and Gary V doesn't lie. You know what I'm saying? Um, everyone has their own standard of happiness in this life. My standard of happiness is being able to play lazily and successfully. So we're going to... I might have to swap it back. Now, I know a lot of people were worried that the penguin was going away. I told y'all I was going to see if I could find a way to make it happen. And if I did, I would swap. I couldn't find a way to make it happen. 
Uh, there's no, there's like two energy items, period. Uh, th that's it. There's two energy items uh, for a ninja, like at this stage of the game. And I don't want either of them, man. Uh, I, I need DPS, real talk. I mean, I guess I can get away with techie suit, which does synergize well enough with what I got going on. In fact, techie suit might be the way to go with this. Techie suit might be the way to actually uh, put in with moon. I didn't think about that. If you can get away, see, especially with Ninja, because we actually have a passive skill, an upgrade skill, um, an effigy skill, that gives you uh, extra damage when you pick up orbs. It might be a good, it might be a really good DPS item. And like a really good consistent way to get these orbs up. Now that I really think about it, we're going to be bringing a Laraha weapon, by the way. Oh, what the heck is this world boss individual record? What is happening? Did I? I didn't even look at what my record was. I'm sure someone's gonna pause it and see. I did not even look. Uh, but that's that. We're gonna be doing a Laraha Mage build soon, though. I did get her weapon just now. The Laraha, my Water Mage, or our Water Mage, I guess. So we're finally gonna have content for her. I haven't had the Witch weapon until now. We were rocking out with like the Shark Head weapon. I've not been touching her. We finally have a full suit of weapons on this character, and we have a Water weapon on her. Uh, so, you know, we're gonna have a, a Laraha Mage build and gameplay session going down, really experimenting with, like, a wild build. I'm excited for that, man. Um, you know, I know uh, people have been asking for gameplay. Also, uh, you know, yeah, people have been asking for a lot of stuff, man, but especially people have been asking for more roasts and more roasts and more roasts because I think a lot of people understand why they're just, like, they're bringing us closer together. They're entertaining, and also... Uh, you know, they give you, like, individual advice, and even if it's not your account, you get to kind of see, like, how to get yourself stronger uh, without having to, like, put a whole lot of that whole, you know, like, uh, consider it your uh, personal prescription. But, uh, we gotta go over, uh, Danger? Bro, was that your name? Danger? Please tell me you sent me a friend request, bro. Did you send me a friend request? Are you in here? Bro, are you in my actual friend request here? Or my friends list? Or are you in here? Or no, you were on the Amy server. Danger, was that your name? You're up next, you sent me a really sweet message, like, just a dope message, like, it just, you never get used to it, man. You never get used to it, but that is it for this one, guys. Uh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Before we get out of here, what is the actual bonus looking like as far as, uh, as far as fire, right? What does fire turn into? 25% chance of creating flame seed and uh, fire damage by 21%, point, 21.5, and then up by 9.25. You're looking at 30%, but it's not stackable, so this is dressed. That's 15% more still. Yeah, this is the way to go. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I might put wind on instead of the 3% bonus damages from our uh, Amaterasu's. I'm going to experiment with a way to really get away with a techie suit and see if a rocking a techie suit is going to be something that could maybe put myself over the top, get away with this DPS speedy pet, and kind of see from there... I'm, ex I'm interested, not because I think it'll be good, but because it could be, and it'd be funny either way. Uh, maybe I'll run with that. We'll figure something out. Maybe two videos on this game tomorrow, but we got all kinds of crazy nonsense dropping today either way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me, only if you're really liked it. If you enjoyed this series, go ahead and click that like button, man, because you are letting time defenders out to y'all right now, man. And I can't let that slide. Uh, y'all been ride or die. Where's it? Uh, don't die. <laughs> I love y'all. Either way, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.